Have you ever wondered whether your spiritual practices could inadvertently be preventing you from confronting your deepest emotions, wounds, and issues? Welcome to an exploration of an intriguing phenomenon known as spiritual bypassing. Spiritual bypassing, a term coined by psychologist John Wellwood in the 1980s, refers to the use of spiritual practices and beliefs to avoid dealing with uncomfortable feelings, unresolved wounds, and fundamental emotional and psychological needs. It's a defense mechanism, albeit a very sophisticated one, that the ego uses to protect itself from pain and to maintain a certain image of being good or enlightened. Imagine you are a traveler on the winding path of spirituality. As you journey, you inevitably come across various obstacles. These obstacles are your unresolved issues, your fears, your insecurities. You could confront these obstacles, or you could choose to bypass them using spirituality as your detour. But when you bypass, you miss an opportunity for growth, for healing. From a psychological perspective, Spiritual bypassing is a form of avoidance. It's an escape from reality. You're not really confronting the issue. You're just cloaking it in spirituality. You may feel a temporary sense of peace, but the underlying issue remains unresolved. It's akin to applying a bandage over a deep wound without first cleaning it. The bandage may hide the wound, but it doesn't facilitate true healing. Spiritual bypassing can manifest in many ways. It can be seen in the overemphasis on the positive and the denial of the negative. It can be found in the compulsive need to detach from the world and retreat into silence. It can be noticed in the inflated sense of self-importance that comes from spiritual practices. It can even be seen in the avoidance of worldly responsibilities in the name of spirituality. So, to summarize, spiritual bypassing is the art of using spirituality to avoid addressing fundamental emotional and psychological issues. It's a trap of the ego mind and can prevent genuine spiritual growth and self-understanding. But remember, it's not the practice of spirituality that's the problem. It's the misuse of it. It's the bypassing. Spirituality, when embraced in its truest form, encourages us to face our issues, not run from them. It teaches us to be present with our pain, not avoid it. It inspires us to grow from our experiences, not hide from them. So continue your spiritual journey, but remember to confront the obstacles along the way. Only then will you experience the true essence of spiritual growth. Thank you for joining this exploration of spiritual bypassing. May your journey be one of courage, honesty, and true transformation.